Welcome to the Comics League. I'm Jared, and today uh, I figured we would do a nice little update video on the state of the Snyderverse. Now, full disclosure, huge fan of Snyderverse, like massive fan. It's one of my, it's my favorite cinematic universe. Yes, I'll say that. I like the DCEU more than Marvel for many different reasons. In fact, I'll do a video if you guys want later on talking about why I like the DCEU more than the MCU. But first off, just want to encourage you guys to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, engage with it. We're very active on this. So if you guys have any like content ideas that you want to see, drop in the comments. I know, uh, of, uh, I know s s some users have started doing that. And normally what will happen is that if you recommend, like, like if you say so, uh, someone actually put up there recently that they want to see it, me talk about the new Injustice uh, episodes, which th those are going to come out. And what, what we normally do when the fans suggest something is that they take priority. What we'll do is, is we'll like, like l l let me put it to you this way. Um, t this week's plan is we're going to do this video, which is just talk about the state of Snyderverse. We're going to bring back uh, the Halo sh uh, podcast we had like a couple of months ago, except we're going to rename it to, to make it more search engine optim optimized and just more Halo related. And then what we're going to do is that probably this Friday or like th the third video will be like a, a sort of conglomeration of all the recommended topics. So th th that's the schedule for this week. Hope you guys are hyped. So let's talk about the Snyderverse. Now, as you guys know, first off, the Snyder Cut won an Oscar. I'm still maintaining that it was an Oscar win. They even got the Oscar recommendation. Zack Snyder made an acceptance speech. It wasn't aired, but he did make a speech and he got the, uh, and it's listed on IMDb. So no one started arguing in the comments, but anyway, so we're going to start off. So the state of it is that's in a really good place right now, because what we do know is that in the flash, it starts off in the Snyderverse. Now, how do I know that? Because recently they did test screenings and the most recent version of the movie, A, has, Cl has Clarice Clemens, who plays Iris West, and she remembers Barry. That's the first thing, because remember, she was in the Snyder cut, not the Whedon cut. That's the first thing. The second thing is that Batman talks to Flash about the Flash going back in time to save everyone. I'm pretty sure that he, he, he wasn't talking about him pushing a Russian family that shouldn't have been camped out near a nuclear reactor. Really annoys me. But he's talking about the Oscar winning scene where Barry enters the Speed Force and runs. So we do know that from these indications that the Snyder Cut is canon. To, to the DCEU, at least in the beginning of the movie. And then what the Flashpoint is going to do is, it, I'm calling it Flashpoint because the storyline is pretty much Flashpoint. Um, what the Flashpoint movie is going to do is it is going to like take the Snyderverse and like place it off to the side, like right here. It's not going to erase it at all. No, not going to erase it as if we needed any more indication of that. It's just going to place it on the side. So if one or what, if Discovery, wants to go back to that universe, they 100% can. It's there. It's not like they just wipe it out. So that's the first thing. The Snyder Cut is going, by Restored, it's going to be there. It's not going to be wiped out. It's just going to be placed here so they could come back to it when Zach wants to come back and they give him the HBO Max series. So, it, so it's going to be, we're going to have the new timeline. Then we're also going to have the Elseworlds Zack Snyder universe over here on HBO Max. That's the way I could see this coming. And you know what? That is the best option. Because that way we don't step on anyone's toes. No directors get, get their projects canceled just so Zack Snyder can do his stuff, which I never at least advocated for that because a lot of other movies like Matt, the Batman that I very much enjoyed and I'm very hyped for that I want to see. And I understand that that people want that every creative deserves to have their visions shown. That's the first thing. And th that's the whole purpose of the Snyder Cut movement. The release of Snyder Cut movement was so Zach could have his vision seen, a uh, part of his vision. And then the restore the Snyder versus so he, we can show the rest of his vision. That's, that's the whole purpose of this. So in no way am I at least advocating that DC cancel the other projects and just do Zack Snyder. Just do both. You can 100% do both because guess what? 
DC is uh, the way I see it. DC is everything to everyone. You, there is a little bit of something for everyone. And I'm excited for like Black Adam, Flash. I love the Batman. I'm excited for uh, Shazam 2. Um, hopefully Wonder Woman 3 is good. But my point is, is that you can like everything. There's no like, you're either with Snyder or you're against Snyder. You either hate Snyder or love Snyder. There's no, that shouldn't exist. What it is, is we just love DC. I think by now uh, you should indicate how big of a DC fan I am. Let me put it this way. I, I have long maintained that DC films are better than Marvel, that DC is in itself better than Marvel. Their comic books, their characters, their movies, all better. All better because there's more of a variety as opposed to the MCU. But I'm not turning this into a DCEU MCU. I'm, I'm just saying is that I just love DC and Marvel too, but mostly DC, all of DC, except for Justice League, but that's understandable. But that's my point. We're going to get all of it. So what are the chances that the Snyderverse is going to be restored eventually, uh, or that is going to be completed eventually on HBO Max? 100%. 100%. And that's, that's why I have long maintained it's 100% going to happen that at least eventually it's going to happen. They'll have Zach come back. I could imagine when Zach's contract with Netflix is expired, then he'll come back and finish his, uh, his DC films. Meantime, support his movies. Absolutely. Because it only improves his brand, which is why it was really good that Army of the Dead won Oscar fan favorite. Because what that showed and this is why it's good that at the Snyder Cut could not participate in that award. Hear me out on this, guys. Because the very fact that a non-DC Zack Snyder movie won shows that the Zack Snyder brand itself is worth investing in, not just his DC, his brand. Because you could say, oh, they just really like your DC stuff. But the brand specifically shows that Zack Snyder, the brand, is should be invested in and maintained. That's why it's, it was significant that that movie won. Moving back to what I was talking about. So enjoy DC. Enjoy the films. They're going to happen. No matter what you hear, I'm going to address this other point. Sasha Kaye Supergirl is not going to replace Superman, and Zod is not going to kill Henry Cavill Superman. That article took that out of context. What is actually going to happen, I'm fairly certain, is Sasha Kaye Supergirl is going to come from a universe, because remember, we're doing a different timeline. She's coming from a universe where that happened to Superman. That's not going to happen to the main continuity Superman. Yes, she will be folded over into the main DCU, but she is absolutely not replacing Henry Cavill Superman. And Henry Cavill Superman is not going to be dead in the new timeline. People that are saying that are just doing it for clicks. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay heroic, but bye-bye. Uh, uh,